Hello everyone, welcome to my channel once again. So in this class we are going to discuss about the various characteristics of transducers. So we have discussed about the what is a transducer, what are the applications of uh, different transducers we have seen. In this class we are going to see about uh, various characteristics of transducer. There are two types of characteristics. They are static characteristics and dynamic characteristics. So, what is the static character? What is the static characteristic? What is the dynamic characteristics? In static characteristics, uh, it is a set of defined criteria where uh, the measured quantities does not vary with time. So, the measured quantities in static characteristics does not vary with time. In dynamic characteristics, the measured quantities vary with time. So, we will see in detail. What is the static characteristic? What is the dynamic characteristics? First, when we go to uh, static characteristics, there are 12 most important uh, static characteristics. They are accuracy, precision, sensitivity, linearity, resolution, span and range, threshold, drift, stability, responsiveness, repeatability and input impedance and output impedance. They are some of the most important characteristics, static characteristics which govern the working of a transducer. So when coming to dynamic characteristics, there are some nine important characteristics. They are dynamic response of a transducer, speed and response time of a transducer, measuring lag. So everything, what is the measuring lag? The time the, it takes for a measuring a parameter, measuring a desirable value of a parameter or whatever sensor value. Then fidelity, dynamic error, overshoot, standard signals, step response and ramp response. So we will discuss everything in detail. Let's start with static characteristics of a transducer. From the next lecture, we will discuss about these 12 subdivisions in detail. Thank you.